Hello YouTube, and welcome to my favourite VR game of all time, Hot Dogs, Hand Grenades and Horseshoes. Now this is actually the game that convinced me to buy this Vive in the first place, and I've spent countless hours playing it ever since. So, to sum it up, it's a gun simulator. So if you're into guns, and you're in a country where gun laws are reasonably strict, like New Zealand, um, you can get all of your gun satisfaction in this game. So there's a few different environments we can play in. Some of them are just static ranges to play around with the guns, and some of them, the more recent additions, actually have missions or like zombie waves, or this one, this one is a tactical breach the room and clear the room simulator. But we'll start off with this warehouse range, um, and we will also go into the friendly 45 range, which for gun fans who watch Hickok 45 on YouTube, that's his range. So we'll go into the warehouse range, and we already have some guns scattered around and some dynamite and bits and pieces. That's a gun that's only in this level. Um, oh, you can't see where I'm pointing, but I'm looking straight at it. Um, that's kind of like the gravity gun from Half-Life 2. And we've got a few, an AR-15 style and a grenade launcher, which we'll have a bit of a play with. And lots of uh, attachments for your guns too. But the real fun part is the fact that you can spawn all types of different guns, like shotguns, pump action shotguns, pistols, uh, knives and crowbars and things, rocket launchers, machine, well, minigun. So there's quite a lot to choose from, and of course obviously the standard rifles. And just to give you a bit of an idea of the level of detail, I'm going to grab a shotgun here. So this is the Chopped 870, which fires a 12 gauge shell. So this is the shell here. We can look it over and see all the detail there, and you can even read 12 gauge number 4 buckshot. We can put that in one of our pockets, and if we push this button, every time we grab a shell, it spawns a new one. So I'll just put that there for the moment. This is the ammo selector. I'm sure everyone's probably keen to get into the guns, so I'm not going to spend too much time here, but as you can see, we can go into like 12 gauge, and these are all the different types of 12 gauge shotgun ammunition. So I'm going to grab this pump action shotgun, and always keep your finger clear of the trigger guard. And one of the really cool things is, again with attention to detail, I can breech load the shotgun. So if I pull the slide back, grab a shell, put it into the breech, and aim and fire. And of course when you pull the pump back, the empty shell comes out. I'm going to leave that there with its breech open and just grab that. So you can grab things like this. Now you can see the shell, cartridge, casing, whatever you want to call it, is empty. So just a real fine attention to detail. It doesn't look like the primer's been hit, but anyway. And there's a bin over there for your rubbish. So I'm going to grab this again and breech load. One. And two, three, four, five. I think that's all this gun can hold. Yep. So I'll put that back down there. And we'll spawn a couple of targets. So let's have three targets, one wave, with nine seconds in between. And go. So that's pretty much the game. So we can obviously shoot barrels and boxes and these targets. And that was my last shell. You can even see a little bit of smoke coming out there. So that's the shotgun. Um, let me get rid of this shell as well. And if we move over here a little bit, we'll get this out of the way. We can have a look at some pistols. And of course, a lot of people's favorite pistol is the Desert Eagle. So this is the .44 Desert Eagle, and you can just see the level of detail on this. Um, there's a lot of care gone into the modeling. 
and if we pull the slide back we can even see right down into the barrel and obviously this is not loaded so we'll grab a magazine same thing as before you can lock that and we'll put a magazine in and take some pot shots You can see the shells, the empty casings coming out. Forgive my unsteady hands. And cool. That was our last shot, so the slide stays back. We can drop the magazine out, grab the next one, shut it in, and close the slide, and we're ready to go again. Simple as that. Or as Anton, the developer of this game, would say, wonderful. Um, and again, with the attention to detail thing, if you really want, rather than just using preloaded ammunition, you can just spawn magazines and bullets out of the ammo spawner and grab the bullets and manually load them into the magazine one at a time, which I do sometimes just because it's kind of fun and in real life you wouldn't have an unlimited amount of magazines. I just see the smoke coming out. So that's the Desert Eagle. Whoops, wrong button. Ah, I'm all thumbs today. Don't treat real guns like this. Um, and we'll grab a AR-15 style rifle, like, uh, those aren't ARs. This is how I fail. Assault rifle, AR, the. So this is my favorite one, the Mark 18. So we'll grab that and we'll grab that ammunition and I'm going to put a hollow scope on it so if we go to miscellaneous uh, no it's under attachment magnifier scope and we want a hollow scope which is a reflex sight you can tell I didn't rehearse this video and there we have the sight so we'll clip that on about there is have a look through, and we can see our target rectangle. So I'll grab a magazine. Shall we just do the one for this? Put the magazine in the gun, pull the charge handle, and we're ready to go once we take the safety off. So this gun's got single fire mode, like so, or Three shot or full auto. No, it doesn't. And we're out of ammo. So to reload, you would just drop the magazine out, put the new one in, charge the charging handle, and you'd be ready to go again. So that's pretty much the entire game. Um, I guess we might as well do a one of these just because they're a lot of fun to play with and then I'll show you some of the other maps. So here we have the thumper which we break like so, put in a grenade round, lock it shut and damn and then this is the, my favorite part Same a bit lower this time. Wonderful. That barrel's gonna explode. So you can really get a feel for the Terminator. With this gun. Um, and talking of brake action, I might as well show you a brake action shotgun. That's a lever action. That's a lot of fun too. Break action, we'll go for a double barreled short, which has obviously been cut to size. 
So we put in two shells, lock it closed, and and when we open, those are the old casings. One, two, and we're good to go again. And the final gun I'll show you before I head on to the other range is the lever action. We'll go for the short version. So this is the gun that Arnold Schwarzenegger used in Terminator 2. And it, although the handle hasn't been modified on this one, you can do the spin load. So to load the gun, we bring the, as soon as I can remember how. There we go. Bring the lever down. Oh, we can use the same shells. So we go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Next, we bring the lever back up as soon as I grab it properly. I haven't used this gun for a while, so it takes a bit of remembering, and we're good to go. And I just love the detail, like when you open, see the old shell come out, and the new one going in. Oh, we've got another one. And we're empty. And you can see all my empty casings and shells and things. So everyone wants to see the Arnold Schwarzenegger style spin reload. So I'm going to try and do that if I can. So one-handed. I would remember how to do this. Like that. Well, that's embarrassing. Let's try that again. That was a live round, so we'll... Nah, now I'm in a pickle. Right, let's try that again. I'm just going to leave that there. So that's pretty much the whole game. So I'll show you another couple of the maps. Don't ever throw your shotgun around like that. Um, of course, that's the great thing with this game, is it's completely safe. Um, so we will go to Hickok 45's range. This is my favorite, just because I've watched a lot of Hickok 45 videos over my time. And it just feels it's kind of surreal to be on his range. So we'll start off with a pistol, I think, and we'll go for a we'll go for a Glock because he loves Glocks. And as soon as I find the Glock, mm. where is the Glock? I'm probably looking straight at it. There should be a Glock 22 in here somewhere. There it is. So we'll spawn that and a standard magazine, and we'll see what we can hit. So, let's do some easy targets to begin with. Let's smoke some pot. Oh, my aim is really off today. Get some of these spinning. Let's see if we can get that pot down there. And we're out. Another magazine, and we're good to go. See if we can hit the gong.
There we go. Uh, this has still got some rounds left. And it's empty. So we'll head over here and dump that, because I'm done with that. Don't throw your guns away in the bin. And what we will do actually is just re reload all the targets. And let's have a bit of bolt action action. So I'm gonna go for rifle. Um how about the M1 Grand? Now this is a clip, not a magazine, as you can see. It's known as an end clip. And last time I used this, it was really awkward. So we need to pull the bolt back and then somehow lock it in place. Without dropping the damn thing. See, so this is the problem I have with this rifle, is trying to lock... There we go. So it's the right-hand D-pad. So we'll grab this, and we'll head over here, and put one of these in the thing. Bolt snaps closed. And let's try not to make a fool of myself. This is really hard to hold. Safety's on. Got it. Let's see if we can get that guy over there. I think I hit him. I am just not aiming well today. And that was the clip coming out. So next one in. I mean, I could do that for Alice. Don't hold your rifle one-handed like this. Well, it appears I'm a better shot when I do. Just get a good look at that breach. So that's that gun. And maybe we'll do an actual bolt action rifle this time, like I said I was going to before. What have we got in the bolt action? Uh, this is quite a nice gun. This is the Seiko 85, which you can either use a magazine or you can load one at a time. So we want a scope on this one. Um, I'll spawn that one, but I'm not going to equip that just yet because the scope does get in the way of the bolt a little bit. So should we see if we can hit the... See if we can hit the gong with iron sights. Probably not. No. Oops, just broke the uh, move button. So, what we'll do now is load a magazine. again, you can actually see as you run the bolt, the old shell comes out, picks up the new round, and puts it in the barrel when you don't keep hitting the damn button. How could I miss it this range? that out, put the next one in, and before I close the bolt I'm going to put that scope on. 
as you can see, it does kind of get in the way of the bolt a little bit, but it does its job. So let's see if we can hit the gong. Just. And this gong is about the same distance away as Hickok's furthest gong. Or the gong. Um, but this range has one slightly further away. I might need to zoom in a little bit for that one. So we'll just go into five times. And see if we can hit that one. Don't think I did. Usually when I'm using a scope I like to sit down, but that wouldn't look very good on video. Still don't think I hit it. I'm really not doing very well, no amount of ammo. So those are the static ranges of the game. I don't know why I'm throwing this all away, because I'm going to go back to the main menu. And that was pretty much the entire game up until fairly recently, when some more um, maps have been added in, such as the Breaching Protocol. Well, that one's been around for a long time, but this one's pretty good. You've got to take and hold the bases. Um, this is like a zombie wave shooter. And that's just uh, another arena with robots that you've got to kill. So let's maybe do... What should we do? We'll do a take and hold. It's far too hot in here for me to be doing this. So, we spawn our guns. And I've already got a gun that I quite like. Oh, look at that. Um, that's not ideal. There we go. So, and these have both got laser targets on them. That's good. And that one's ready to go. And so is that one now. Turn the laser sight on. And let's go for... I'm just going to keep it reasonably easy because I don't want to die too quickly. Cool. So we've got this indicator on the ground. Take and hold and supply points. So obviously the take and hold I've got to go and, funnily enough, take and hold. So I'm going to use this gun for that, I think. There are different forms of locomotion, but I prefer teleportation. That's better. The stairs are a little bit tricky to get the hang of. Coast looks clear. Still good. And I just need to recenter myself in my chaperone grid. Thought I saw a shadow. Time for a tactical reload. And this one's right out in the open, which is not ideal.
Oh. And we have secured this point. Doesn't help when you drop your rifle halfway through the battle. So that's this whole game mode. So I'm probably going to call it here. That's pretty much all the core points of this game. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.